Thing. Order! Order! You are an incorrigible delinquent at times. <laughs> Behave yourself, man! An artist to put private photos taken from people's webcams on sale has been forced to withdraw them following a Channel 4 News investigation. Nye Thompson gathered images from online cameras inside people's homes, including shots of ailing pensioners and children. Without their knowledge of consent or consent, she turned the images into an art exhibition and offered them as prints. But after inquiries by this programme, she's agreed to blur the subject's faces. Here's our technology reporter, Jeff White. Webcams. Switch one on and all the world's a stage. Problem is, do you know who's watching? Artist Nye Thompson found online webcams unprotected by passwords. Without the camera owner's knowledge or consent, she turned the images into art here in East London. The shots, as you can imagine, are deeply personal. Almost all of the images in this exhibition are too intrusive for us to broadcast. There are pensioners in bed, there are children playing in their night clothes. Not only has the artist chosen to put these on the gallery walls, she's selling limited edition prints of them for £100 a pop. When the exhibition opened last week, these faces weren't obscured. That's changed since Channel 4 News started investigating, and the sales operation has stopped as well. A lot of people look at that and think, well, regardless of what you think now, you set out with the intention to make money out of intruding on people's privacy. It's hard not to escape that conclusion, isn't it? Um, did I set out? Well, you know, this has, as I was initially thinking about it, OK, these were found images, um, and, yeah, I, 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 wasn't, I wasn't looking to make money off off it but um, you know as I this, this is sort of this is in a way this has kind of happened very very quickly um, and as I bought these out into the public what um, you know I, I, I quickly reevaluated and thought no actually um, I can't do that she still feels the show addresses a valid concern people should know about this that this stuff is really important and that people should be informed at just how vulnerable our online privacy is. Um, and, you know, I, that I wanted to do something to raise awareness, um, raise public awareness with this. And as an artist, you know, the, the most appropriate way for me to do this was as an art project. In her search for unguarded cameras, the artist found dozens in Hong Kong. It's a major part of the exhibition. But now their privacy watchdog wants those images deleted for good. We as regulators you know, would like to, uh, to see that uh, these images are removed you know, from uh, the gallery. I would also like to see that the artist uh, would delete or destroy all these images you know, with identifiable persons. Even if she does, legal experts say other laws may still apply. This could amount to unauthorised access to a computer system, or in this case, a webcam. Now, if there is intent to access someone's computer system without their consent, then that falls under the Computer Misuse Act and amounts to a crime. Legality aside, you're probably wondering, how is it possible for someone to get images from these kind of webcams? Well, if you plug one of these into your computer and don't set a strong new password, that could end up broadcasting to the world. Luckily, in this case, the solution is cheap as chips. When you're not using it, take a piece of tape and stick it over the top of the webcam. Sounds stupid? Not according to Facebook's founder, it seems. Mark Zuckerberg, recently pictured with a taped-up webcam. More gadgets are going online, but behind them all are people, and it's our privacy that's under the spotlight. Jeff White reporting then. I've been getting away with